Let's talk about Lamar Jackson, who looked very much like his MVP self against Cleveland Sunday. Three touchdown passes. He had the highest QBR of week one, attempted just seven rushes, tied for the second fewest in his career as a starter. And as a consequence of his performance, the Ravens now lead the AFC with a 38% chance to win the conference, according to our Football Power Index. That's our analytics. With the Chiefs right behind them, the rest of the AFC combined has a 31% chance. So our analytics believe this is really a two-horse race in the AFC. And Marcus, I will let you begin because you said to me last week, they should run Lamar <laughs> less. What did you see on Sunday? I thought they did a tremendous job, G. And listen, that percentage of them winning is because Lamar operated like he did from the pocket. I don't care what anybody says. Every analytic person or people that put this together knows what Lamar Jackson is running the football. And obviously, game plan and how defenses are playing you plays into that factor. But I can guarantee you this. Greg Roman and this offensive staff, they feel great about what they saw from Lamar Jackson operating from the pocket. And, and it never was a question of could he throw. It was always a question of when we get into those games, i.e. with the teams that we just saw with the percentages to win against Patrick Mahomes, when you know you're going to have to air the ball out, throw it downfield, make plays through the air, and, and trust your receivers and tight ends, you have to do that to win those type of games. So I felt good about what Lamar did. That doesn't mean he doesn't use his legs. I was never trying to make that point. My point was for his evolution, for his next phase of the game, and if we're talking about winning a Super Bowl, he's going to have to operate from the pocket like that, especially during the playoffs. Greg McElroy through a quarterback's eyes. What did you see in Lamar Jackson yesterday or Sunday that looked maybe different or better or somehow other than what we saw from him last year? Well, Greeny, he, he's changing the trajectory of the football much more than he has in years past. Like, we always knew that Lamar Jackson had an absolute cannon, and the guy can drive it into very tight windows. But what I saw on Saturday or on Sunday throughout the course of the game was him adjusting the trajectory of the football, dropping it in difficult spots, and really pushing the ball down the field with accuracy and consistency that we have not seen on a regular basis throughout the course of his career. If he can continue to negotiate defenders with how he throws the football, look out, this guy's unstoppable. Him and Mark Andrews in the red zone are going to be unstoppable. So, man, I was really proud of the growth that he showed the other day, and, and I think it's a sign of things to come throughout the course of this season. All right, so Jeff Saturday, we, we live in a world where we are professional overreactors. So Friday on this show, after Kansas <laughs> City's opener on Thursday night, I was taking answers to, are the Chiefs going to go 16-0? and Now, here we are after the Ravens play, <laughs> and we're talking about them being the best team in the AFC. So, very simply, Jeff Saturday, who's the best team in the AFC? No, still the Chiefs. As much as the, the Ravens impressed us on Sunday, they played the Browns, okay? So, you know, when we're talking about that, I think you still got to go with the Chiefs, what they did against the Texans, who everybody expected to be an AFC uh, front runner as well. They dismantled them. So as you're looking at these two teams, the weapons that the Chiefs have are still spectacular. Patrick Mahomes, so you still got to lean Chiefs there. Swaggoo? Man, you know it's Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, G. Quit playing. Listen, this is still their division <laughs> to lose. It's still the team with the most weapons. And as good as the Ravens look, I'll still take the Kansas City Chiefs offensive skill players and Patrick Mahomes before I took anybody uh, else on the Ravens team. It, it, it is it's tough. And you comparing really tight things because Lamar is elite. Patrick Mahomes is elite. You look at the backfield, but what Andy Reid has done with this offense and what they able to do, I still can't see them losing. Real quick, Greg, who you got? Chiefs, Ravens? Uh, I, I'm still going Chiefs, and I think it's uh, kind of going a little bit deeper. I think Clyde edwards Lair makes this offense unstoppable. Now you give me two high safeties, I'm going to run it down your throat, or you can come out, try to stop the run, try to limit the run, and then I'm going to have Pat Mahomes with one-on-one -on -one situations on the outside. I still think they're impossible to defend. So with the emergence of Clyde edwards Lair, I feel even better about the Chiefs than I did in the preseason. Guess what? In two weeks, we get to see these teams head-to-head. -head. Kansas City at Baltimore, That's Monday right. Night Football, Week 3. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.